it's that time of year again when everybody's going to want to be embroidering standalone lace ornaments for Christmas presents, gifts, decorations around the house. And I just want to do a quick short video on how I do mine. Some people are going to tell me they don't like the idea. I personally love it. I've been doing it this way for years. Um, and I will explain to you why I do it as I do it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a water-soluble stabilizer that looks like interfacing. It doesn't look like the plastic types, guys. So this is going to hold up the stitch count. If you notice, I also still have it attached to the roll. The reason I have it attached to the roll is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold it over. And when I hoop it, I'm going to go ahead and hoop two layers. Why am I hooping two layers? Truthfully, because I don't want to discover one layer wasn't enough, and we're talking about saving maybe 25 cents when I'm putting 12,000 stitches on something. And that takes a lot of time on both my machine and for myself. The next thing that happens is that because the stabilizer is as thin as it is, and because of the fact that it's so stitch intensive, if you take a look at my inner hoop, you're going to notice it's pink. The reason it is pink is because I've, list, I've wrapped my inner hoop with something called VET tape. VET tape is very, very available at any tractor supply store. Um, it could also be listed as Coban. If you were an online shopper, it comes in lots of different colors. I just happened to buy the pink one because I bought the pink one. So this is going to build up that hoop. It's a little bit tacky. But more importantly, after I hoop my wet and gone stabilizer, it's going to have more of a grip in the hoop. So my stabilizer, as I'm doing the stitching, I'm going to show you here in two seconds. is not going to want to pull in because I've got built up those side hoops. It's going to grip that stabilizer really, really well. When I bring my design in, I'm going to go ahead and I would move it as close to the edge as I possibly can get. So that way, when I unhoop it, if I cut next to where I embroider, it might save me as much as two to three inches of stabilizer in just one single solitary hooping. Not everybody's going to like leaving it attached to the, the roll. It personally doesn't bother me. And the roll can just sit right next to the machine without any problems and not interfere with the hoop in any way, shape, or form. I personally use the Dissolve Away Mesh by Baby Lock. We have it in stock here at Banks Sewing and Vacuum in Noavai, Michigan. Our phone number is 347-7655. So um, if you want us to get some in the mail to you or if you want to stop by and see us, we would all love to see you. Thank you very much and happy embroidering for your Christmas holiday.